to wrap up Google Drive sharing, I want to go back to my folder that had my files in it. Also, it has some folders in it. I want to point out a folder I've called public. This is what I name a folder if I'm going to make it public on the internet. So I'm going to click on this folder, go back to my share settings. And once I get into the share settings, I'm going to go to advanced. Now I'm going to change it from private, only accessible by the people I have listed. I'm going to change this and I'm going to make it public on the web. Now, notice I didn't make it to where anyone on the web can edit it. I just made it to where they could view it. And if I go back to my folder, you can see the icon has changed to have the little share icon in it. And if I go into this folder and uh, I look at the share permissions on one of the files that's in this folder, I'm going to find that the permissions on the file in the folder have changed to match the folder. So this is a very handy property. When you change permissions on folders, it propagates down into the files in the folder. So if I have a folder and I share it with my class so that all my students can get to it, anytime I want to give my students a new file, all I have to do is drop it in that folder and the share permissions will automatically change so that my students have access to that file. It's a very handy thing. Now, it's kind of a two-way street because if I give someone edit permissions, they can do some things I might not want them to do. In particular, they could move a file out of this folder. Now, just like moving a file into the folder it inherits the permissions of the folder. If I move a file out, it can change the permissions of the file as well. More importantly, if I share it with a person with edit rights and they move it into their Google Drive, it could leave my Google Drive and I would no longer see it. Now I'd still have access, but I wouldn't be able to see it, which means I'm gonna have a really hard time finding it. Now, if you look at all of the, of the permissions for all of the different categories that you can change, I'm talking about all the way down in the can edit column, there's two things you just have to be aware of when you give someone edit rights. They can change the permissions and they can move that file to a different folder, which means you might not be able to find it. If someone moves a, a file from your Google Drive into their Google Drive, you can still find it, but you would actually have to search for it by the file name, trusting that you know the file name. Now there's, a, you can do a little bit. If you go back to the permissions on a file, you can make it to where someone can't change the permissions. So if someone has edit rights, they wouldn't, if you check this little box, they wouldn't be able to uh, change any of the access rights or add more people to it, but they can still move the file outside of a, out of your folder. So whenever you give people edit rights, make it clear to them they cannot move the files around. If they want to take the whole folder and add it to their drive, that's perfectly fine. They just can't take any files out of that folder. So one last thing I, I haven't talked about. All the way over on the, the right, the last column is the owner of the file. Whoever creates the file is the owner of the file. And the owner has two important properties that no one else has. First, it's the only person who can delete a file or a folder. That's the owner. So even if someone moves my file out of my Google Drive, I can still find it, I can move it back. The person who moved it out can never delete it. So they, that file won't disappear for me. Now the last thing is transfer ownership. Let's say that I, uh, I'm the leader of a group and after a few years I decide to move on and a, another person becomes the leader of the group. I could take all of the files for that group and I could transfer their ownership if I have the ownership I could transfer the ownership to the new leader of the group. And then that person becomes the owner of all those files. 
That summarizes uh, Google Drive sharing with all the different permission options. If there's something you want to know more about, just let me know.